Hello, my name is Philippa Buckland and I'm an associate solicitor with, in fact, within the family team at JCP Solicitors and I'm based in our Swansea office. I'm uh, going to talk to you today about prenuptial agreements. You may have heard recently that Kanye West and Kim Kardashian are due to divorce after seven years of marriage, during which time they have acquired billions in assets. Their divorce settlement will be governed by a prenuptial agreement they entered into prior to their marriage. However, um, prenuptial agreements aren't simply the preserve of the rich and famous and, and Hollywood stars. They can be extremely useful documents uh, in a number of different scenarios. For example, a couple might have um, acquired uh, and started to build up and started to run a business before they get married and on marriage they uh, want to ensure that should they ever divorce that business will can continue to be run successfully. Uh, also you may have uh, been married previously and have acquired assets on divorce which you want to save and preserve for your children of that marriage. So useful in the case of second marriages. Also uh, as people um, are generally getting married at an older age, they may have acquired assets of their own which they would like to protect. And of course, there is always a situation where there could be inherited wealth. So um, a prenuptial agreement um, is an agreement between the parties to an intended marriage that seeks to clarify um, and regulate their financial affairs in the event of a relationship breakdown. It is a pragmatic solution. Uh, these documents are not yet formally binding in England and Wales. However, as long as certain key criteria are met, prenuptial agreements are proving to be increasingly persuasive in the court setting. Uh, the agreement should be procedurally and substantively fair. It cannot be obviously unfair to either party and should consider scenarios where there are dependent children. The uh, agreement must be made by deed and freely entered into and, uh, importantly, made uh, at least 28 days before any wedding to avoid the suggestion that there might have been um, some sort of duress to enter into the, 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 the prenuptial agreement. Uh, obviously, the agreement needs to be signed by both parties and should be drawn up by a solicitor who can then advise the parties on the contents of the agreement. Um, there should be financial disclosure. So both parties would uh, schedule their assets and their income and these details would be annexed to the prenuptial agreement. I would say that legal advice is essential um, during the drafting of the agreement and also to, to sign an agreement to say that you've given advice to your client. Um, to, to have a prenuptial agreement tailored to your own individual circumstances, it is important to seek the advice of a family solicitor.